Hey, I'm Cosmo from Cosmo's Q, and on today's video, we're gonna cook these giant ribeyes on the brand new Traeger XL Timberline. All right, so what I am attempting to do is reverse sear these on the smoker, 300 degrees. I'm using hickory pellets, my favorite, one of my favorites, hickory, pecan, mesquite, you know, your top three. I'm gonna season them with cow covered, dirty bird, pot, and Texas beef. And actually, this is the recipe that won me the 2015 World State Championship. So I'm just gonna stick to what I know. And these are some massive. Steaks. I ordered two inch and got a two and a half inch. But hey, we're here, you're here, cooker's running, let's do this. Okay, I'll cover. And I like to let a little bit go on the cutting board too for the Oklahoma wind to carry. And then it sprouts up 80 miles down the road. Now, the reason why I like to put it on, a little bit on the cutting board is to do the edges. These are so massive though. Take some beef. You gotta play the wind here. It's like, a, it's like playing basketball outside. <laughs> Play the wind. Now let's flip them over, do the other side. Oh. Press it all in. Now, grab the edges. So like I said, I got the Traeger running at 300 degrees. I think 300 is hot enough. What I'm trying to keep from happening is cooking too much from one side or the other. So that's why I'm going at 300. We're gonna put them on there. I'm gonna put a probe in the middle of them. Normally, if these were average size, inch and a half steaks, I'll cook them to 110. Then I'll pull them off and sear them. Or on a Weber, I would just put them over the flames and sear them. But on the Traeger, I'm gonna bring these up to, I, I just find it hard to believe that the middle is gonna go five degrees higher, as thick as these are. So I, I'm thinking like 130. And then when I sear it, it'll jump, to, jump that five degrees in the middle to 135. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place these up here. Now I got this on the, the middle shelf at the very bottom setting. I'm leaving some space in between them just so they can breathe. And then my probe, I always like to put the probe in the smallest one. It's right there. Right in the middle, just like that. So I know when it's done, now what we do is shut the door and wait. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of canola oil in here. Now running this induction, uh, it's actually really neat. You just turn it to where you want it and then push the button, just like that. So I'm on a medium high heat right now. First time running this, but uh, we're not building watches. Can't be that hard, right? It gets hot quick though. Need a little water, huh? Nope, not yet, almost. Maybe I should turn it up a little higher. There we go. I think she's ready. All right, here we go. I probably should have had it a little bit hotter. There we go. It's got the sizzle though. Can you hear it? It's smoking. I like that oil. That canola oil, it doesn't, you don't taste it. It's got a higher burn temp. That looks good. Woo! So I'm using a couple sprigs of thyme, rosemary, three big pats of butter. There we go. 130. I'd say we take it. All right, so this is the middle child right here. One of them, the little one, it got a little bit too done for me. It was actually done on the smoker. We moved the probe over just to kind of get a, a sense and that little sucker jumped up so stinking fast. 
it hit 134 and I was like, well, that's, that's too dumb for me. We moved it to the side. We got an eater in the house. We'll cut it up and uh, use it for meal prep. This one is the one that we want to test. Looks fantastic. The um, searing it on that hot plate, it, uh, it takes a little bit getting used to. I would go to medium, maybe a little bit medium high, but uh, you better have your head on a swivel because you can scorch this thing. We uh, put some thyme, some rosemary, and some garlic in there. Drizzled it with butter. Looks fantastic, smells fantastic. All there is left to do is cut inside and see how we did. One more piece. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, she looks good. She looks real good. That thing went, that, this knife, you know, no exaggeration, it went through like freaking a knife through hot butter. So this, we freaking nailed this. Golly. We nailed this. Let's get a bite. I'm telling you, these are soft. Cheers. Oh my God. Boy, that's good. Wow. Oh my God. That's perfect. You, you will not get a steak like this out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this uh, cap, lip, banalis, whatever you want to call it. The best part. Mmm. This is fantastic. I've done steaks on a Traeger before. You probably saw this video. You probably saw that other video. If you haven't, it'll be right up here. It was a good steak. This is a fantastic steak. Dude, it's good, man. It's damn good. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you want to make this recipe, head on over to CosmosQ.com, print it off, make it for yourself, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. <laughs> on the brand new Traeger Line XL. Traeger Line. What the? From the top.